Each NFL team nominates a player each year that displays extraordinary courage throughout the season. We also represent right here at the Air Block Courage Awards. They help to improve the lives of abused and neglected children. Today they have a chance to hang out, meet and greet some of these NFL players to encourage some of these young people to understand that they can possibly one day be in the NFL as well. And without further ado, I want to get this started. The Air Block Courage Award. Paul Minimai, I'll give you a round of applause, y'all. All right. Thank you, thank you. All right, I want to welcome in to today's event. Are you guys ready to meet the players? Yeah. Remember, have fun with these guys. Have a good time today. You earned this. Have a good time with these guys. Uh, I want to thank Tom Boyle Hope for partnering with the Ed Block Courage World Foundation and making this a reality. Um, Ed Block was a former athletic trainer for the Baltimore Colts, and that's the namesake for our foundation. And PFAX is the athletic trainers in the NFL. They partnered with us to get these guys in here. So a round of applause for PFAX and the athletic trainers in the NFL. All right, without further ado, let's bring them in. Ladies and gentlemen, the 2012 Ed Block Courage Award recipient. Y'all give us some high fives, give us some fives. Please, y'all go to both sides, both sides. Once again, y'all give the players a round of applause, y'all. Give them a round of applause. If you have a program, we're going to stick around on the program just a little bit. Um, we want to welcome our city council president, Bernard Jack Young. Y'all give them a round of applause. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, boys and girls. Good morning. First of all, I'd like to thank um, the Convoy of Hope. I'd like to thank the Ed Block uh, Foundation. I want to thank all these players and congratulate you on the award. And I just want to say thank you for all that you do. And I want you to always remember that you were a kid too. And these programs that these kids look forward to engaging in takes finances and funding. So I'm asking you all to remember to always give back to make life that much better for our young people. Again, thank you for having me here. City Council President Bernard Jack Young. And from the Department of um, Rex and Parks, we want to welcome Bob Wall to say a few words. Y'all give a round of applause. I'm representing um, Director Mr. Burke who was in D.C. today um, with the conference for the National Rec and Parks Association. I welcome everybody here to this event this morning and welcome the NFL players. Congratulate T. Sizzle for uh, winning the Ed Block Courage Award on the Baltimore side. And welcome new Baltimore Raven, Chris Canty, for representing from the New York Giants. As, as Jack alluded to as a kid, I am a product of uh, Rec and Parks grew up in um, our, my rec center in Patterson Park. Grew up on Orleans and uh, Kenwood Avenue, about a mile east of here. So uh, we are appreciative to anything that Cowboy really Hope is to get into the Baltimore kids uh, today. So again, hopefully everybody had a good time. Kids had some fun with the NFL players. And again, on behalf of Baltimore City Rec and Parks, we welcome everybody and thank everybody this morning. Thank you. All right. And right now. I want y'all to stand up, everybody stand up, all right? That's not too much. You stuck? Pick them up. And for 
The person that makes the city work and makes everything happen, we want to give it up for our wonderful mayor, Stephanie Robbins Blake. Y'all give a round of applause. Thank you very much. Now, I did just turn 23. I don't know about coming. So good morning, everyone. It is my pleasure to be here with the council president, Council President Jack Young. Thank you for being here. Our councilman, Pete Welch. Thank you for being here as well. I know Councilman Mosby is trying to get here. The traffic was was rough this morning. I want to thank all of the staff here at Chick Webb, um, Chick Webb Rec Center. Can we give them a big hand, please, all the staff? And our community leaders who have worked so hard to make this center vibrant. On behalf of the city of Baltimore, it is my sincere honor to welcome the NFL representatives and players to our great city. I'm sorry we couldn't give you better weather for today, but many of you are coming from places where the weather isn't any better, so you are feeling right at home. Uh, it is, wait a minute, I forgot to say, let me, let me correct myself and say, let me welcome you to Baltimore, the home of the Super Bowl champion. <laughs> We still love our team. And the love for our Ravens isn't just because of what they do on the field. Uh, one of the reasons why we cheer so loudly and I cheer so loudly for the Ravens is because of what they do between the games uh, in our community. I'm grateful to have had the opportunity to work with so many. And many of them, all they want to do is work with young people. Uh, they want to pave the way for the next generation for that. I am grateful uh, because they are uh, wonderful role models of what it means to be a leader. Uh, it means you have to be a leader, not just when you go to work, uh, but when you are in your everyday life as well, and that's what they do. Um, they don't come in to sign autographs, they come in to serve. And, and that's, why, you know, that's what it means to, to be a Raven in our town, and that's what it means to be players. I, I know for the NFL throughout the country, uh, the, the, the players that you see uh, today have it in their heart. Um, you know, they have the commitment uh, and they celebrate the partnerships that they have with their respective city. So we are delighted to honor every NFL uh, player here uh, in Baltimore and thank them for their commitment to helping their communities. Uh, it doesn't have to happen. And if it was normal, I shouldn't say normal, if they were not exceptional, uh, this, this, uh, field, this not field, but um, court would be full to the brim with players. But they are exceptional because they are the exception not the rule. Every player doesn't have it in their heart uh, to, to want uh, to give back. And because they do, we say thank you. I'm proud that the Ed Block Courage Award was started here in Baltimore. It's a legacy of the great Baltimore Colts teams of, fifth, of the 50s, 60s, and 70s. And the award bears his name um, not because it was a popularity contest, but because it was an honor for humanitarian service. Uh, this makes these uh, young men stand out from the rest. Uh, in my time as a public defender, I saw firsthand the countless uh, individuals, countless clients that grew up in uh, homes where violence and abuse were routine, and this took a toll on people's lives. And for most children, uh, there's really no coming back from them. There's no way to recapture those that are lo who've lost, uh, we've lost in their formative years, uh, who don't know, who don't learn how to be treated and how to treat others. And I want to thank so many of the NFL players who raise awareness about the pre and, uh, awareness and prevention of child abuse as they encourage all players to support their efforts. Professional sports and athletes have a special power to influence and to add a profile, raise a profile of important 
issues and uh, the way that we treat our young people and pave a way for our young people is very important. And I have a great deal of respect for uh, that power and appreciate when sports figures, when our players, uh, when I'm calling you our players, even you know, not, not because you're a Ravens, but because you play for all of us, all of us across the country. And I really have a lot of respect for those who take their, their power seriously and use it for good. I feel very strongly that as adults, we have more power than we can imagine to make a difference in the lives of children. I want to thank the NFL for understanding and for raising these young men up as examples to all of their peers. And thank you again for coming to Baltimore. Before I close, I do want to recognize Councilman Stokes, who has come in uh, and joined us to celebrate these players from across the country. And I want to thank all of our partners uh, who have made this event a great success every year. Thank you so much. And, and Cummings, uh, when she said home of Super Bowl champs, y'all didn't, didn't seem to get too much love. Y'all need a little more love for Super Bowl champs, please, folks. Y'all don't feel some kind of way, do y'all? We got love for y'all. We appreciate y'all coming up. And since this is um, your district, um, Councilman Stokes, would you like to come up and say a few words? Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning, great. Uh, my uh, president, uh, who uh, represents this district, obviously, <laughs> he let me know that I got to be on time, all the time. Anyway, I wanted to stop by, uh, obviously, to, to thank uh, the Black Courage Award and, and the NFL players and all of those who are so involved with showing so much love to our young people. Hi, young people. How are you doing? Fine, come on now, I know it's Monday morning, but how you doing? Good. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. So I'm just glad to be here because these young people look up to you guys uh, and to other uh, sports heroes, but we, of course we know that the real heroics take place off the field, take place when you show how you give your love back uh, to young people, how you give your love back to those who are the least among us, and sometimes give your love back to people that you don't really know, but you know, have their eyes wide open and, and blinded, really, uh, by what you do on the athletic field. And uh, God bless you for, for, for giving up of yourselves and for doing so much uh, to help all across the country. We really appreciate you stopping in Baltimore and being a part of this and being so supportive of this community. Uh, we really appreciate Hi, IMD. How are you doing? <laughs> My eldest is a graduate of IMD. Anyway, uh, so I'm glad to be here. And let me thank Tracy and, and, uh, and uh, our Director of Recreation and Parks and all of those who are involved uh, here uh, at Chick Red and across the city uh, in Recreation and Parks. And we thank you so much. I thank our mayor uh, for all that she's been doing um, uh, for the past few years, uh, not just as mayor, great now, but uh, when she served as our president in the city council, prior to that, we thank you uh, for your heart and for all that you do to give back beyond uh, uh, your elective office. God bless us. God bless each of you. Thank you so much. Thanks, man. All right, and before we close out and bring up our last speaker, um, IND has something that they want to do.
Before I give the explanation of what's going to happen today, I want to introduce you. You guys don't need an introduction. But I want everybody else to know the lady who makes this thing happen. The director of this rec center, day in, day out, and her staff and her team that make a difference in this neighborhood. And I want her to come and greet you. Uh, Tracy, come on up. Recreation Center. I thank you all for participating in the Ad Block and Ad Block Courage Awards and Tom William Pool. And this could not have been possible without the help of my staff. I have an excellent staff and the city of Baltimore um, and you. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed the festivities of the day and I hope that you meet with the players and have conversations and just have a fun filled day. Thank you. All right. Okay, kids, we've got a couple hours. We're going to cut you loose and let you just play with the football players and have a good time with them. Here in just a minute, when we dismiss you, in just a minute, when you go out these doors, every one of you guys are going to get one of these little footballs. All right? Now, let, let me just tell you, this is not to throw around. This is for you to go up to the players that you want. You can get their autograph on these little footballs and take them home with you. All right? So as you leave, they'll be giving those to you. And then, you guys, you saw out in the parking lot, we got all the jumpy houses. We're gonna have, we're gonna have footballs out there that you can play toss with the football players and they can throw you some passes. For those of you that want a haircut, we got hairstylists and barbers downstairs that can cut your hair. And then we've also, let me tell you, we've got a couple other things. We've also got, uh, we've got some photographers down there that will take your picture with some of these players too, all right? So you can take those home and show them to your brothers and sisters and your mom and dad. And then at the end of the day, we've got some cooks downstairs that are cooking up some hot dogs. And we're going to have lunch with you before you go, all right? So, are we ready to assist the kids? Are we ready to go?